So I'm joined by Steve Crabb, one of the IWF ambassadors. Steve, you're here in your position as a commentator for the BBC, so you've got a close eye on the competition. We've got the 800 metres women coming up. What are your predictions? Well, it's probably a little bit more open than we might have thought. You know, you, if you look at the last few years, you've had, I mean, Savina obviously is the defending champion and Olympic champion and is here again and was probably the hometown favourite, but maybe isn't running quite as well as she has been. Um, no Jeb Koskai, no Jolimo, uh, no Semenya, and they, they're the women who've been dominating the event for a few years. So um, if Savina isn't at her best, and Noni and Saba, who's the kind of... Um, the new girl coming through. So it's a chance, I think, for some other people to go in there and take a medal. Um, I still think Savino probably is, is the favourite. Um, we've got, uh, as far as Great Britain's concerned, the sort of experience of Marilyn Okoro in there. And you know, she's the sort of athlete who you would never normally think, oh, maybe she could nip in there and, and win a medal. But yeah, it's a, it's a bit of an open risk, that one. I think. Um, uh, Martinez of USA has got a great chance. She's got a good finish running very well this year. So Savina probably just the, the, the favourite with uh, the likes of Martinez and uh, Montano of America as well with a good chance. What about your favourite event, the 1500? Any, any favourites coming up there for you? Well, I think Asbel Kiprop has to start the favourite. You know, he's, I, I love watching him run. He's a lovely looking runner and, um, you know, he's a great champion. And um, although over the last... Uh, he was injured again last year at the Olympics and you know, he, he didn't get to stand on top of the rostrum in 2008 because you know, um, the gold medal was won and then taken away with the drug suspension, but he is the Olympic champion, or was the Olympic champion then. He's, he's been the best for me in the last few years. You know, there are gen there's always people come and dominate for a few years. I think occasionally he probably hasn't done himself justice. He's sometimes tactically hasn't quite got it right, but I think he's learnt. Um, so arriving here, he's in best shape ever, ran brilliantly in Monaco in the Diamond League the last race before the World Championships. So I'll be very surprised if he, if he doesn't win. Lots of good athletes in there, great strength and depth. His two teammates, Chep Seba, Kip Legat, will be, will be tough. But um, yeah, I, I expect uh, Asbel to win. And of course, we've got the men's 5,000 tonight. So I guess the, the British team will be, uh, it's just Fedlana Mastakova walking past. Um, so I think the British team and the BBC will all be rooting out there for Mo Farah in the 5,000 tonight. Yeah, you know, Mo's had, a, had a, an incredible couple of years, actually. I mean, even going back to Daegu, you know, it started with this 5,000 metres. You know, he lost the 10,000 in Daegu uh, to Jay Land, but he won the 5,000 gold medal, then went on to London, won both events. And he's trying to emulate, um, you know, Kenanisa Bikela, who's the only other man to have taken the double the double double, if you like, the Olympics and the World Championships. So he's right up there in the you know the, the sort of hierarchy of, of distance running. Um, you know, if he pulls it off, it'd be a remarkable achievement. Because I think the 5,000 is a more difficult field than the 10,000 was here. The better runners are there: Gebrewet, uh, Alamaru, Soy, uh, Longasiwa, Langat, uh, uh, Lagat. You know, the, you've experience and some of the new the good new kids coming in so it's going to be tough he's the only one who's doubled up with with Galen Rupp his partner the others haven't had to run the 10,000 but he's fast and you know that I think they've got to find a way uh, if they are to beat him they've got to find a way of making him tired before he gets to the bell if they if they do what they've done in the last few times they've raced him we're going to have the same result I think and obviously everyone in Britain would be delighted. Just any other events? I mean, you've been following the entire competition here in your role at BBC. Any other events that really have stood out for you? I mean, for example, the, the 100 or Yelena Simbaeva's performance in the pole vault? Yeah, actually, that was a big night. Uh, you know, she was brilliant. Um, I must say, though, I think even if I, even if I wasn't British, I think the women's 400 metres was, was, was a brilliant race. You know, when you come to championships, yes, you want the bolts to win because he's a big name and, and Yelena in, in the pole vault and... Um, the sport's big characters to come and perform. But you want great races. That's what really get crowds into it, and that's what people remember. And they'll say, oh, didn't you want to talk about the next? Did you see that race? And um, Christina Hurugu and, and Amantle Moncho had a fantastic race. And for it to come down to literally the, the, not even, you know, the, the last three inches of the race was great. You know, Christine's done that a few times in her career now, hasn't she? And, um, so that, that for me was so far anyway the highlight. It was a great race. It was a gold medal for Great Britain. Two great athletes. 
British record, which has stood for 29 years, disappeared as well. So um, that's what you want in championships. You know, that, that's the sort of thing that um, we've come to expect. And um, so far, you know, we've got another couple of days to go, but that's my highlight. Well, thank you very much, Steve. Thank you.